Lesson 1, A Walk in the Park Hey Anna, how about this Saturday around 10 a.m.? We can meet here and walk to the park. That sounds like a great idea, John. The weather should be perfect for a stroll. Fantastic! I love going for walks in the park. We can enjoy the fresh air and the beautiful scenery. Me too. And we can stop for a coffee or snack along the way. It will be a nice break from our busy schedules. Absolutely. I can't wait to get out of the house and stretch my legs. The park is so peaceful and relaxing. I agree. It'll be a great way to recharge and maybe even spot some interesting wildlife. Definitely. I'll bring my camera in case we see any cool birds or squirrels. It'll be fun to try and capture some great photos. That's a great idea. I'm sure we'll find plenty of photo opportunities. This is going to be a wonderful Saturday morning. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been too long since we've had a chance to just chat and enjoy each other's company. Lesson 2, Redecorating the Living Room Hey Anna, I noticed you've been doing some redecorating in your living room. How's it going? Oh yes, I'm so excited. I added some colorful throw pillows and rearranged the furniture layout. It really freshens up the space. Nice, that sounds great. What made you decide to switch things up? Well, I was feeling like the room needed a bit of an update. The new layout opens it up and the pops of color add some vibrancy. I bet it looks fantastic. Having a cozy, welcoming living room is so important. Absolutely. It really sets the tone for the whole house. I'm happy with how it's turning out. I'm sure it looks wonderful. When can I come over and see the new look? Anytime. Maybe we can grab a coffee there this weekend and you can check it out. Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to it. Lesson 3, Respecting Nature Hey Anna, did you catch that news segment about the importance of leaving no trace when hiking? Oh yes, I did see that. It's so important to follow those leave no trace principles and respect nature. Definitely. Even small things like staying on designated trails and packing out all your trash make a big difference. Absolutely. It's about being a responsible, eco-conscious outdoor enthusiast. We need to protect these natural spaces. For sure. And it sets a good example for others as well. Every little bit helps preserve the environment. Completely agree. It's all about being mindful and considerate when enjoying the outdoors. Exactly. I'm glad more people are becoming aware of these important practices. Me too. It's crucial that we all do our part to be good stewards of the land. Couldn't agree more. Thanks for chatting about this. It's an important topic. 
Lesson 4, Departure Time Mix-Up Hey Anna, did you catch what they said about our departure time for the trip? No, I missed that. What did they say? Oh, I thought they had updated the itinerary. Let me double check the details. Okay, no problem. I must have zoned out during that part of the discussion. Hmm, let me see here. Ah, I see now. They changed the departure to 8 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. Oh, good to know. I'll make sure to adjust my schedule accordingly. Yeah, we'll need to leave a bit earlier than planned. Don't want to risk missing the bus. Definitely not. I'll set an earlier alarm and be ready to go. Thanks for catching that, John. No problem at all. I'm glad I double-checked before we were running late. Lesson 5, Negotiation Tips Hey Anna, I wanted to share some tips I learned about effective negotiation techniques. Oh, that's great. Negotiating can be tricky, so any advice would be really helpful. Absolutely. One key thing is to always remain confident and assertive, but not aggressive. That makes sense. You want to come across as decisive and knowledgeable. Exactly. And it's important to do your research ahead of time so you're well informed. Good point. Being prepared with facts and data will strengthen your position. Definitely. And try to find a middle ground, be willing to compromise, but don't give in too easily. Right, finding that balance is crucial. You don't want to seem too inflexible or too desperate. Absolutely. Those are some of the main things to keep in mind. Let me know if you need any other negotiation tips. Lesson 6, Embracing Simple Steps Hello Anna, did you know that simple steps can make a big difference? Oh really? Tell me more, John. Well, even small changes in our daily routines can have a significant impact. For example, taking a short walk during lunch or drinking more water throughout the day. That's a good point. Those little things can add up quickly. Exactly. And the best part is, they're so easy to incorporate into our lives. You're right. I guess it's all about being mindful and making conscious choices, even if they're small. Absolutely. It's amazing how much better you can feel just by making a few simple tweaks. I agree. It's good to know that simple steps can make a big difference. Definitely. It's all about taking that first step and building from there. Lesson 7, Balancing Screen Time Hey Anna, I wanted to get your thoughts on something. Sure, what's up? Well, I've been thinking about my screen time lately. I feel like I might be spending too much time on my devices. 
I know what you mean. It can be easy to get sucked in and lose track of time. Yeah, and I think it's starting to impact my productivity and even my mood sometimes. I can relate. I think it's good to be mindful of how much time we're spending on screens. Definitely. I've heard that it's important to have a balanced routine, you know? Absolutely. It sounds like you're thinking of making some changes. Yeah, I'm going to try to set some limits and find other ways to spend my time. Lesson 8, Mindful Routines Hey Anna, how's your day going so far? It's going well, thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good, actually. I've been trying to incorporate more mindfulness into my daily routine. Oh, that's interesting. What kind of changes have you made? Well, I've been trying to meditate and do some light yoga in the mornings. That sounds like a great way to start the day. I've heard that can really help with focus and productivity. Yeah, I've noticed a difference already. It helps me feel more grounded and centered. That's awesome. I've been meaning to try something similar. What do you think about it so far? I really enjoy it. It's a nice way to slow down and take a moment for myself. Lesson 9, Networking Nerves Hey Anna, I have to attend a big networking event next week and I'm feeling a bit anxious about it. I can understand why that might feel daunting, John. Putting yourself out there to meet new people can be nerve-wracking. Exactly. I'm worried about coming across as awkward or not knowing what to say. Don't stress too much. Just remember to smile, make eye contact, and focus on learning about the other person. That's a good point. I should try to be more curious and listen instead of just talking about myself. Absolutely. Ask thoughtful questions and show genuine interest. People generally love talking about themselves. Okay, that makes sense. And I suppose I shouldn't overthink it too much, just be myself. Precisely. Your natural charm and kindness will shine through. The key is to relax and have fun with it. You're right, I need to try to enjoy the experience instead of dreading it. Positive mindset, right? Lesson 10, Afternoon Stroll Hey Anna, I'm planning to go for a walk later this afternoon. Would you like to join me? That sounds lovely, John. I was actually just thinking of doing the same thing. Great minds think alike. Where do you usually like to walk around here? There's a really nice trail system in the park near my house. It's so peaceful and scenic. Nice, that sounds perfect. Maybe we can stop for a quick coffee or tea break too. Definitely, that would be a great way to unwind. I'm looking forward to it. 
Awesome, me too. It'll be nice to get some fresh air and catch up. Absolutely. A little exercise and quality time with a good friend, what could be better? I couldn't agree more. This is exactly the kind of self-care I need right now. Lesson 11, Sightseeing in the City Hey Anna, are you familiar with the local sites around town? I'm planning a trip and could use some recommendations. Sure, I know the area pretty well. What kind of attractions are you interested in seeing? Hmm, maybe something historical or cultural. I'd like to learn more about the city's heritage. Okay, great. There's a really nice museum downtown that has exhibits on the city's founding and early development. It's a great place to start. Awesome, that sounds perfect. Is there anything else you'd suggest checking out while I'm there? Definitely. There's also a beautiful historic district with charming architecture and local shops. And the Central Park has lovely gardens and walking paths. Wonderful, those all sound like must-see spots. Is there a map or guide I can pick up to help navigate the area? Absolutely, you can grab a free visitor's map at the train station or the visitor's center. It has all the major landmarks and sites highlighted. Perfect, I'll be sure to do that. Thanks so much for the recommendations. I'm really looking forward to exploring the city now. Lesson 12, Communication System Hello Anna, I had a question about the communication system here. Is there a helpful way for guests to get in touch with the front desk? Absolutely, John. We have a few different options for you to communicate with us. Great, what are those options? Well, we have a direct phone line in each room that connects you directly to the front desk. There's also a dedicated app you can use on your phone to send messages or requests. Ah, uh, I see. And are those the only ways to reach out? No, we also have a lobby phone you can use, as well as a concierge desk where you can speak to someone in person. Wonderful, that gives me plenty of choices. Is there one method you'd recommend as the most efficient? For most requests, I'd suggest using the in-room phone or the app. Those tend to get the fastest response time. But the other options are great if you need more personalized assistance. Perfect. That's really helpful to know. Thank you for walking me through all the communication options. Lesson 13, Benefits of Remote Work Hey Anna, I've been hearing a lot about the benefits of remote work these days. What's your take on it? Well, I think remote work offers some really great advantages. For one, it provides a lot more flexibility in terms of work-life balance. That's a good point. What other benefits do you see with remote work? Another big plus is the lack of a commute. Not having to deal with traffic or public transportation can save a lot of time and reduce stress.
Absolutely, that's a huge perk. Anything else? Yes, remote work also tends to boost productivity since there are fewer distractions than in a traditional office setting. Interesting, I hadn't considered that. Are there any other benefits you've noticed? Well, from an environmental standpoint, remote work reduces the carbon footprint by cutting down on things like office energy usage and commuting. Good point. That's an important consideration these days. Overall, it sounds like remote work has a lot of advantages. Lesson 14, Marketing for Small Businesses Hey Anna, I wanted to get your thoughts on marketing for small businesses. Is it an effective strategy? You know, I think marketing can be incredibly valuable for small businesses, if done strategically. What do you mean by that? Can you give me some examples? Well, things like social media marketing, email campaigns, and local community outreach can be really impactful and cost-effective for small businesses. Okay, that makes sense. What about more traditional forms of marketing? Those can work too, but small businesses need to be a bit more selective. Print ads, direct mailers, and the like can get expensive quickly. That's a good point. So, what would you say are the key things a small business should focus on for their marketing? I'd recommend identifying your target audience, leveraging digital channels, and always striving to provide value to potential customers. That sounds like solid advice. Any other tips you'd offer for small business marketing? Lesson 15, Interview Attire Morning I've got a big job interview coming up soon. Have you got any advice on what I should wear? Oh, that's exciting, John. For a professional interview, I'd recommend going with a classic, well-fitting suit. A suit, got it. Is there a particular color or style you'd suggest? Neutral tones like navy, charcoal, or dark gray are always a safe bet. And I'd stick with a traditional two-piece suit. Okay, that makes sense. What about the shirt and tie? Any recommendations there? For the shirt, a crisp white or light blue button-down would be perfect and a complimentary tie in a solid color or subtle pattern. Excellent, that gives me a good starting point. Anything else I should keep in mind for the interview attire? Yes, make sure the fit of the suit is tailored and professional. Avoid anything too baggy or too tight and be sure your shoes are polished and in good condition. Great tips. I really appreciate you taking the time to walk me through the interview outfit essentials. Lesson 16, lead by example. Morning. I've been thinking about the importance of being a good role model. What do you think are some key ways we can show kindness and respect in our daily lives? That's a great question, John. 
I believe leading by example is crucial. Demonstrating empathy, treating others with dignity, and being reliable are all important. Absolutely. I find that when I'm intentional about those things, it really sets the tone and encourages the people around me to do the same. Definitely. It's amazing how our actions, even the small ones, can shape the environment we're in. Have you noticed any specific instances where your example has made a positive difference? Yes, actually. The other day, I held the door open for a coworker and they seemed genuinely surprised, but then they did the same for someone else. It's those kinds of ripple effects that make me want to keep focusing on being a good role model. That's wonderful. It's so important to remember that we all have the power to inspire kindness through our own behaviors. Even the little things count. Absolutely. I'm glad we're on the same page about this. It's an area I'm really passionate about, and I appreciate you engaging with me on it. Me too, John. These types of conversations are so valuable. I look forward to continuing to learn from each other and spread more positivity through our actions. Agreed. I'm glad we had this chat. It's a good reminder for both of us to keep leading by example. Lesson 17, Reminders of Growth. Hey Anna, I was reflecting on some of my past accomplishments the other day, and it really made me appreciate how much I've grown. That's great, John. I find it so meaningful to look back and see the progress we've made. Our accomplishments can be such powerful reminders of how far we've come. Definitely. Even the small wins serve as milestones that show the positive changes over time. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day and not step back to appreciate that bigger picture. Absolutely. Those achievements, big or small, are a testament to the effort and determination we've put in. They shape who we are in profound ways. Well said. I feel like I've gained so much perspective and confidence from reflecting on my journey. It's really motivating me to keep pushing forward. I can imagine that would be incredibly empowering. Having that reminder of your growth capabilities must make you feel more equipped to take on new challenges. Exactly. It's like a built-in source of encouragement, you know? I feel energized to continue expanding my horizons and setting even bigger goals. That's wonderful, John. It's so important to celebrate our progress and use it as fuel for future growth. I'm glad you're tapping into that. Me too. Thanks for listening and sharing your thoughts on this. It's been a really uplifting conversation. Lesson 18, A Packed Schedule Morning. I wanted to check in about our upcoming work schedule. Have you had a chance to look it over? Good morning, John. Yes, I've reviewed the schedule, and it's looking quite packed. Did you have any specific concerns I should be aware of? Well, a few things. I noticed we have back-to-back -back meetings on Wednesday, and I'm a bit worried about finding time for our regular check-ins. Hmm, I see what you mean. 
those Wednesday meetings do look tight. Maybe we can try to squeeze in a quick 15-minute sync during our lunch break that day? That's a great idea. I was hoping we could do something like that. I definitely don't want our regular communication to fall through the cracks. Absolutely. Keeping those touch points will be crucial, especially with everything else we have going on. Did you have any other schedule items you wanted to discuss? Actually, yes. I noticed we have that all-hands presentation on Friday. Do you know if we need to prepare any materials for that? Good catch. I'll double-check, but I believe we're just expected to attend and be ready to field any questions that come up. No major presentation from our end. Okay, good to know. That takes a bit of pressure off. I just want to make sure we're on top of everything. Lesson 19, Punctuality Matters Morning. I wanted to talk to you about something I've noticed lately. Good morning, John. Of course, what's on your mind? Well, I've noticed that you've been arriving at the office a bit later than our usual start time. I just wanted to check in and see if everything is okay. Oh, I see. You're right, my arrival time has been a bit inconsistent lately. I've been trying to manage some personal matters in the mornings, but I don't want that to impact my work. I understand. Life can certainly get busy outside of the office. But as you know, punctuality is really important for us. Absolutely, you're completely right. I'll make sure to prioritize getting to the office on time moving forward. I don't want my tardiness to affect our team dynamics or productivity. I appreciate your understanding. I know you're a dedicated and hard-working team member, and I don't want this to become an issue. Thank you, John. I'll do my best to have a more consistent arrival time. Maybe we can even check in regularly to ensure I'm sticking to our expected schedule. That sounds like a great idea. I'm happy to touch base weekly or even daily if needed, just to make sure we're on the same page. Lesson 20, Addressing Damage Good morning. I wanted to talk to you about something I noticed when I came in today. Good morning, John. What seems to be the issue? Well, I noticed there's a scratch on the side of my car in the parking lot. Do you happen to know anything about that? Oh no, I'm so sorry, John. I was backing out of my spot this morning and must not have seen the edge of your car. I feel terrible. I see. I appreciate you being upfront about it. Accidents do happen, but I want to make sure we address this properly. Absolutely, of course. I'll take full responsibility for the damage. Please let me know how I can help get it repaired. Well, I'm glad you're willing to take care of it. Why don't you get an estimate from a trusted mechanic, and we can go from there. That sounds reasonable. I'll set that up as soon as possible and keep you updated on the process. Again, I'm really sorry about this.
No need to apologize. I know it was unintentional. I'm just glad we're addressing it in a timely and responsible manner. Lesson 21, Embracing Active Listening Hey Anna, I heard you've been working on improving your active listening skills. How's that going? Hello John, it's going well. I've been trying to maintain eye contact and not along to show I'm engaged. That's great to hear. Maintaining eye contact is such an important part of active listening. Absolutely. I find it really helps me stay focused on the conversation. Definitely. And what about reflecting back what the other person says? Have you been trying that? Yes, I have. I've been rephrasing key points to make sure I understand correctly. Nice, that's another excellent active listening technique. It shows the speaker you're truly listening. Exactly. I've noticed it really helps build better connections and conversations. Totally. Active listening is such an underrated skill, but it makes such a difference. Lesson 22, Cultivating Consistency in New Habits. Hey Anna, I heard you've been trying to start a new habit. How's that going? Oh, hey John. Yes, I've been trying to meditate for a few minutes each day. That's great. Meditation can be such a powerful habit. Is it going well so far? It's been a bit of a struggle, to be honest. I have a hard time sticking with it consistently. I see. Starting new habits can definitely be challenging. What have you found helpful? Well, I've been trying to just do it for 5 to 10 minutes each morning. But some days I just forget or don't feel like it. I've heard that building habits in small, manageable steps is key. Maybe start with just two to three minutes? That's a good suggestion. I think starting really small might help me build the consistency. Exactly. And setting reminders or doing it at the same time each day can make it a habit too. Lesson 23, Preparing for Overseas Travel Hey Anna, I heard you're heading to London soon for a business trip. How's the planning going? Ah, uh, yes. I'm really excited about it. The planning is coming along well so far. That's great to hear. Is this your first time traveling to London for work? No, I've been there a few times before, but it's always fun to go back. Nice! Do you have any must-see or must-do activities on your list this time around? Well, I'm hoping to visit the Tower of London again. And I'd love to catch a show in the West End. Ooh, the Tower of London is a classic. And seeing a West End production would be amazing. Definitely. I'm also hoping to check out some of the newer trendy neighborhoods this time. 
Oh, that's a great idea. Exploring the up and coming areas can give you a different perspective. Lesson 24 Self Care Matters. Hey Anna, I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed lately. Do you have any advice on how to prioritize self care? I'm sorry to hear you've been feeling stressed, John. Taking time for yourself is so important, especially during busy periods. You're right. I know I need to make more of an effort, but it can be tough to find the time. I understand. But even small things can make a big difference. Have you considered incorporating some quick daily routines? Like what? I'm open to suggestions. Maybe try a short meditation or breathing exercise in the morning. Or simply scheduling a walking break during the workday. That's a smart approach. It's vital to make time for ourselves, even if it's just 15 to 20 minutes. Exactly. And don't forget to do things you enjoy, whether it's reading, listening to music, or spending time in nature. Good point. I should probably schedule those activities too, instead of just letting them fall by the wayside. Lesson 25, Gearing Up for Adventure Hey Anna, I heard you're going shopping for some new outdoor gear. What are you in the market for? Oh hey, John. Yes, I'm looking to get some equipment for an upcoming hiking trip. Nice. Where are you planning to hike? I'm heading to the mountains for a multi-day backpacking adventure. That sounds incredible. What kind of gear are you hoping to find? Well, I need a good sturdy backpack, some high-quality hiking boots, and a reliable camping stove. Those are all essential items for a backpacking trip. Have you done much hiking before? I've done some day hikes, but this will be my first longer, multi-day trek. So I want to make sure I have the right equipment. That makes total sense. Quality gear can really make or break a longer hiking trip. Lesson 26 Party planning. Hey Anna, do we need anything else for the party besides the balloons and banners? Good point, John. I think we also need some streamers and party decorations to make the place look really festive. Ah, yes, streamers would be perfect. Maybe we could get some in the party's color theme. That's a great idea. The streamers would really tie everything together nicely. Absolutely. And we should probably grab some fun party favors too, like those silly hats and noisemakers. Yes, the party favors will add to the lively atmosphere. This is going to be such a fun celebration. I can't wait. It's going to be the best party ever. Me neither. I'm so excited to see everything come together. Alright, let's make a final list to make sure we have everything covered. Lesson 27, Personalized Gift 
Hey Anna, I had an idea for a personalized gift for our friend's wedding. Ooh, that sounds lovely. What were you thinking of getting them? Well, I was thinking we could get them a nice set of engraved pens or a custom photo frame. Those are both such thoughtful ideas. The engraved option would be really special. Absolutely, we could even get it engraved with their initials or wedding date. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure they would really appreciate the personalized touch. Great, then that's what I'll go with. Thanks for the input. Anytime. I'm sure whatever you choose, they'll love it. I hope so. All right, I'm off to place the order. Lesson 28, Travel Plans Hey Anna, I heard you're planning a trip soon. Where are you going? Oh yes, I'm really excited about it. I'm thinking of visiting Italy this summer. Italy, huh? That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to go there. You should definitely try to go if you can. There's just so much history and culture to explore. I bet. Any must-see spots on your itinerary? Well, I definitely want to see Rome and check out all the iconic landmarks. And of course, I can't wait to try all the delicious Italian food. Num num num, the food alone is worth the trip. I'm a little jealous, to be honest. Haha, <laughs> you should join me. It would be so much fun to experience it together. I wish I could, but maybe another time. For now, I'll just have to live vicariously through you. Lesson 29, Rediscovery Hey Anna, have you ever come across an old photo or memento that just transported you back in time? Absolutely, John. It's like unearthing forgotten memories when we rediscover those hidden gems. Exactly. It's amazing how a simple object can evoke such strong emotions and nostalgia. Definitely. I found an old sketchbook of mine the other day that took me right back to my childhood. That must have been a wonderful experience. I love when that happens. It was. Flipping through those pages was like reliving those carefree days. I can imagine. It's amazing how our minds can hold on to those memories, even if they've been buried for years. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing to be able to reconnect with our past selves like that. Couldn't agree more. Those rediscoveries are truly special. Lesson 30, Sports Debate Hey Anna, who do you think was the best player on the team this season? Hmm, that's a tough one. I'd have to say the striker was the standout performer. Really? I was thinking the midfielder had a pretty incredible season as well. That's true, he did have some amazing games.
but the striker scored two crucial goals in the final match. Good point. Those game-winning goals were huge. I guess it's hard to argue with that kind of impact. Exactly. The striker just seemed to be in the right place at the right time all season long. Yeah, you're probably right. He was definitely the MVP in my book. I agree. He really carried the team on his back when they needed him most. Definitely. It's going to be exciting to see what he can do next season. Lesson 31, arrived at the airport. Hey Anna, I'm so glad I finally arrived at the airport. The traffic was really bad getting here. Hello John, how was your flight? I hope it wasn't too turbulent. It was alright, a bit bumpy at times but nothing too bad. I'm just happy to be here now. That's good to hear. I was worried the flight might be delayed or something. Me too, but it all worked out in the end. So, what's the plan for today? Anything exciting? Well, I was thinking we could grab a bite to eat first, then maybe do a bit of sightseeing around the city. Sounds perfect. I'm starving and can't wait to explore. Great, let's get going then. I know just the place for some delicious local cuisine. Awesome, lead the way. Lesson 32, Visiting Machu Picchu Morning Anna, I heard you've been to Machu Picchu before. What did you think of it? Hey John, it was absolutely incredible. I definitely recommend adding it to your bucket list. Really? I've always wanted to go but heard it's quite a challenging hike to get there. It's true, the trek can be tough, but the views from the top are worth every step. Wow, that's good to know. Maybe we could plan a trip there together someday. Absolutely. I'd be more than happy to show you around and share my tips. That would be amazing. I'm sold, Machu Picchu it is. Great, we'll have to start planning all the details then. This is going to be an epic adventure. I can't wait. This is definitely going to be the highlight of my trip. Lesson 33, Trying Sushi Hey Anna, have you tried that new sushi place that just opened up? No, I haven't had a chance yet. What do you think of it? It's really good. You should definitely give it a go. They have some unique roles. Oh, like what? I'm always up for trying new things. Well, they have this one called the dragon roll. It has shrimp tempura, avocado, and eel. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I love eel sushi. Me too, it's my favorite. We should go check it out together sometime. 
definitely, I'm in. Sushi in good company, what could be better? Exactly. Let's do it, I'll make us a reservation. Lesson 34, Discussing Recent Protests Hey Anna, have you heard about the protests happening in our city? Yes, I have. It's been all over the news. What do you think about it? It's a really complex issue, but I admire the people standing up for what they believe in. Me too. I think it's important to have open dialogue and find a peaceful resolution. Absolutely. Hopefully, the authorities will listen to the protesters' concerns. I hope so too. These kinds of situations can be really tense, but violence won't solve anything. I agree. The best way forward is through open and honest communication. Definitely. I'm glad people are using their voices to make a difference, even if it's not easy. Same here. It's inspiring to see the community come together for a common cause. Lesson 35, Looking for Comfortable and Stylish Attire Hey Anna, I've been trying to find some new clothes that are comfortable and stylish, but I'm having a hard time. I know the feeling, it can be tricky to find the right balance. What kind of style are you going for? Well, I want something casual but still put together, you know? Nothing too fancy, but not too basic either. Hmm, I see what you mean. Have you tried looking at some of the more sustainable fashion brands? Not yet, but that's a great idea. I'll have to check those out. Any recommendations? A few of my favorites are Everlane, Patagonia, and Reformation. They have really nice, high-quality pieces. Awesome, I'll definitely look into those. Thanks for the tips. You always know the right places to shop. Of course. I'm happy to help. Let me know if you find anything good, I'd love to see what you end up with. Will do, thanks again. I'm feeling inspired to revamp my wardrobe now. Lesson 36, Art Supplies Hey Anna, did you remember to pick up the art supplies for our project? Oops, I completely forgot. What did we need again? Well, we'll definitely need some rulers and glue sticks. And maybe some colored pencils would be nice too. Oh right, the colored pencils. That would really make our project pop. I'll head to the store on my way home. Awesome, thanks Anna. Just don't forget the rulers and glue sticks, okay? Got it, I'll make sure to grab everything. This project is going to turn out great. I'm sure it will. Can't wait to get started on it. Me neither. See you soon, John. See you.
Lesson 37, Hotel Checkout. Morning, Anna. I wanted to ask about the hotel checkout time for our trip. Oh, right. I believe the checkout time is 11 a.m. But if we need some extra time, we can let the front desk know. Eleven a.m. Got it. That should give us plenty of time to pack up and head out. Definitely. And if by chance we need a little more time, I'm sure they'll be accommodating. Good to know. I appreciate you double-checking the details on that. No problem at all. Glad I could clarify the checkout process for you. Me too. All right, I'll make sure we're all set to leave on time tomorrow. Sounds good. Talk to you later, John. Take care. Lesson 38, Opening a Bakery Hey Anna, I wanted to get your thoughts on opening up a bakery. Ooh, that's an exciting idea. What aspects did you have in mind? Well, I'm thinking about the legal and financial side of things. Do you have any advice there? Hmm, those are definitely important considerations. I'd recommend looking into the necessary permits and licenses for your area. Good call. And the financial side, any tips there? For financing, you could explore small business loans or even crowdfunding options. And be sure to map out a solid business plan. Awesome, that's really helpful. I appreciate you sharing your expertise on this. Of course. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help as you get this bakery off the ground. Will do. Thanks again. Lesson 39, Booking Online Hey Anna, I was looking at booking our hotel for the trip online. Oh that's a great idea. Online bookings usually have some nice deals and discounts. Exactly what I was thinking. Do you have any tips for getting the best rates? Hmm, I find that booking directly through the hotel's website is often the most cost-effective. Ah, uh, I see, good to know. And should we look for any specific promos or coupon codes? Definitely. Searching for current discount codes can really help save some money. Excellent, I'll be sure to do that. This is going to make planning the trip so much easier. I'm sure it will. Just let me know if you need any other tips for finding those great online rates. Will do, thanks Anna. This is super helpful. Lesson 40, Convenient Transportation Hello Anna, have you heard about that new rideshare service that can take you to nearby attractions? Oh yes, I've been using it a lot lately. It's so convenient. You just tap a few buttons on your phone and a driver arrives to take you wherever you need to go. That sounds great. What kind of attractions have you been visiting? 
Well, last week I used it to go check out a new museum exhibit downtown. The driver dropped me right at the entrance, it was wonderful. Wow, that's perfect. No need to worry about parking or navigating an unfamiliar area. Exactly. And the prices are really reasonable too. It's been a game changer for me getting around the city. I'll have to give it a try next time I need to go somewhere. Sounds like a much better option than driving myself. Definitely, I highly recommend it. The service is so reliable and the drivers are always friendly. Great, thanks for the recommendation Anna. I'll have to download the app and give it a shot.